Hello, my beautiful wisdom lights, my beautiful air signs. This is your September monthly tarot reading in spiritual wisdom, okay? Um, how are y'all doing? Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section, okay? Let me know how y'all doing out there, okay? So, I'm going to do things a little different this month. Um, I'm going to pull... I got some new decks. I got to say it on, on hayhouse.com, and I got a lot of new decks. And I got... I don't know if you ever heard of Abraham Hicks, where she be doing those channeling messages for the collective on YouTube for years. Um, I got her deck, and we're going to pull some of her wisdom. And we're going to pull some crystals for you this month. And we're going to pull a goddess card this month for you. So there's three messages for each air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? And remember, this goes for your sun, moon, or rising sign, okay? Now, again, don't forget to head over to my website and get my amazing products, okay? Make sure you restock. Make sure you have your spiritual tools. Make sure you're using all your magic to make your reality the best that it can be, okay? That's the goal. That's why I got into this business, to help the collectors to have the best reality they could be. And if you don't like the cards you've been dealt in life, that's what the incense and the spiritual baths for those moments of your peace. Okay, so I'm just grateful to be here to be able to guide you, help you in any way I can. Okay, so let's get to the reading. I'm so excited. Uh, okay, air signs. We're going to shuffle for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising first. Okay, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising Spirit. Thank you. What crystal we have for Gemini? So, oh, all right. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. It's the first one my eyes landed on. Let's see. And then we're gonna pull a goddess card. Let's see what goddesses want to come out and work for the Gemini Sun Moons and Rising for this month of September. How was y'all um August? Let me know how was y'all August? Cause this been some crazy energy weird energy that's been a word with the uh, uranus on the north node okay for the past um like two months since july okay so the first card i'm gonna read is the crystal the crystal for gemini sun moon arising is blue lace agate find your calm gemini sun moon are rising sign okay beautiful energy blue lace is a powerful activated crystal okay as soon as you hold it in your hand you will feel the calm energy of blue lace if you suffer from heavy anxiety and that's for anybody if you know somebody that suffers from any heavy anxiety um or just anxious depression energy um blue lace agate is a powerful crystal that you could use uh or give to them for their arsenal to help them you know have that peace on their journey here in the physical dimension okay next card we have is the goddess card mother earth my womb the goddess my womb okay she is saying you are called upon to help with environmentalism so helping the world give back some type of form of like working with nonprofit, the homeless giving back to some somebody or some way form or fashion that can help the planet recycling doing your part to help mother earth okay this is beautiful energy and also good karma okay because remember the egyptians and uh, from my own experience what i dealt with for the past seven years of my uh death and rebirth process my transformation it is true like the egyptians said that you know what you do in the physical you have to pay you have to get judged in the afterlife of what you did here in the physical dimension, okay? But for the Gemini Sun Moon Arising, so far I am seeing um, you need some type of peace in your life. You need some type of calmness. I don't know if you got any inner turmoil, any um, chaotic energy, or just energy, anxious energy that you just can't keep still. Just very jittery I'm picking up. Uh, it's time for you to find that peace. So work with Blue Lace Agate. Give back to your community. And let's see what Esther Hicks has to say for the Gemini Sun Moon Horizon. Life is supposed to be good for me. Mm, okay, life is supposed to be good for me. Let's see what else she is saying. Okay, life, life is supposed to be good for me. That is our strongest message to you. Life is supposed to be good for you. Do your best to find the best 
of the positive aspects that surround you. Look for things to appreciate. Even if there aren't that many, look for things to feel good about. Give your attention as best as you can to the best things that are going on in your experience. Okay, with the determination to train yourself into the best feeling vibration that you can find right, right here and now. Okay, so this is going back straight in alignment with all this. Doing things that make your soul feel good, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Horizons. Finding ways to cope with those energies. Finding ways to um find peace within whatever chaos whatever storm or whatever reality you're in or you're dealing with right now okay this is a beautiful message of finding peace and using tools to help you find that peace on your journey i wish you all the best i wish you well if you want a more personalized reading make sure you book a session with me okay this is beautiful energy for the gemini sun moon and rising next up libra Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oop, okay. I'm going to take that one. Okay, from Esther Hicks, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. How are Libras doing out there? Okay, Libras, y'all going through a powerful, intense transformation of your second house. Research second house on YouTube or Google, and you will understand what I'm talking about. The second house is the throat area. The second house rule your possessions, your income, how you spend money, how you make money, how you intake food, how you... um. And also your self-worth. It's traditionally ruled by Taurus, but everybody can be Aries rising. So for every Libra, Sun, Moon, or rising out there, check on your second house and check on your throat chakra. Okay. You have also the south node going through your um second house until next summer. So make sure you're taking advantage of these transformations the universe is trying to put you through. Libra, Sun, Moon. Oh, wow. The transformation card came out. My God. Uh, that you're going through um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Horizon. And y'all should know by now, if you're watching my channel, you I don't need the cards to read you. Okay, I can just go off astrology. I can go off my divine channeling messages from spirit to give you a good, accurate reading for the moments in time. Remember, just like I tell you, shop on my website to get your tools to have peace in your journey. These tarot cards, the oracle cards, are tools as well for me to channel proper messages for you at this moment in time. So we all have tools to help us develop and uh, become more adjusted and comfortable in reality. Are you adjusted and comfortable in reality? I'm going to leave you with that question to ask yourself, okay? So first thing we're going to, I'm going to read off is the crystal. What crystal do you need to work with this month, Libra, Sun, Moon, Horizon? It is Rose Quartz, a beautiful Venetian crystal, okay? It's saying open up your heart. You might need to forgive somebody. You might need to forgive yourself. You might need to release the past. You might need to heal some past life trauma. You never know what's going on in your um, chakras or um your energy field it may be trapped or blocked okay so make sure you get that rose quartz and you can get it on my website i have beautiful pieces okay um also the goddess you have is butterfly maiden she's just tra saying transformation so work with the color pinks work with the rainbow colors like you can put it on your crystal braces to invoke and look i got it on my shirt the energy of the spectrum of transformation of the all okay that's what the rainbow represents all energies the all okay you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is beautiful energy of accept the fate that you have been dealt, okay? Flow. If you don't like your reality, change it. Meditate. Work on your subconscious mind. Heal. Transform your reality. But you only can do that from within, okay? Beautiful energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, the call we have from Esther Hicks. Uh, Esther Hicks and Abraham Hicks. You go by all, all these names. Esther and Jerry Hicks. The teachers of Abraham Hicks. Okay, yeah. Um, the card is saying, My thoughts join a powerful swirling vortex of attraction. In the same way that the law of attraction is responding to the thoughts, words, and actions that you are offering here in your physical reality, the law of attraction is always responding powerfully to your vibrational reality. When the law of attraction 
the universe manager of all vibrations responds to the clarity of vibration offered by your expanding inner being the results is a powerful swirling vertex of attraction so basically who you are what you are and what you're going through within is going to mirror out to you in your reality you don't like your reality change it how you change it work on your subconscious mind how you work on your subconscious mind meditation writing in your journal every day if you can uh, also making vision boards and praying on those vision boards putting your hand on your vision board and praying on your vision board every day uh libra sun moon arises because it's repetition praying on it every day calling it into your reality okay but this is beautiful energy of you're manifesting your heart's true desire and if you're not shift your energy do a chakra clean spiritual bath clean up your energy and pull in what you really want in your reality okay beautiful energy make sure y'all share this video with someone that may lift them up okay so next up is the aquarius sun moon and risings how are you doing out there the aquarius sun moon arisings so first card we're going to pull is the goddess card for aquarius for this month of september spirit thank you thank you thank you September for Aquarius. Next up, we're going to pull a crystal for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Aquarius. And next, we're going to pull Abraham Hicks. For September for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, we're going to take... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that one and fell toward me. Okay. So let's see. Your queer sun moon arise. And before I start, make sure you head over to my website and get all your spiritual and metaphysical tools, okay, to make your life better. I do have some more uh candles and products on the website, okay. And yes, I put real money in my candle work and also my money drawing products, okay. So first thing first, we're gonna pull up the crystal what crystal you should work with this month aquarius sun moon or rising is pink opal pink opal wants to work with you okay so go to your local botanica you can go to etsy i don't have this on my website but you can find it somewhere online especially etsy etsy sellers are good i shop on etsy crystals really do work and they are very very powerful real good quality on etsy okay but pink opal be kind to yourself aquarius sun moon horizons so whatever you're going through find time to pour back into your cup aquarius sun moon horizon be kind to yourself the goddess that wants to work with you this month is hawthor receptivity so being kind to yourself and she's also telling you allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others remember you want good karma be able to give to others but also you got to know how to receive receptivity okay so working with pink opal and hawthor this month aquarius sun moon arising also the car you have from F. abraham hicks is others opinions are less important than my personal guidance system it's just like aquarius <laughs> look at that um you did not intend to use the opinions of others to measure against your beliefs desires or actions in order to determine the appropriate appropriateness of them instead you knew and still remembered long after you were born that it was the relationship between the opinion or knowledge of the source within you and your current thoughts in any moment that would offer you perfect guidance in the form of your emotional guidance system huh so basically she is saying your opinions are less and others opinions are less than less important than my personal guy wait others opinions are less important than my personal guidance system so focusing on your internal guidance system focusing on your higher self focusing on what is your intu intuition is saying same thing with Hawthorne is saying building your intuition so right now is a good time to take a spiritual class um aquarius someone arising right now is a good time to meditate deeper or meditate with a spiritual guru get a spiritual advisor or guru to help guide you on expanding your spiritual gifts and spiritual talents and spiritual powers that's what i'm picking up right now aquarius someone arising expand 
in your spiritual gifts and powers okay this is beautiful energy of getting to know yourself deeper okay for the month of virgo season this is beautiful energy aquarius so i hope you use these tools to better adjust to your reality yes the realities can be hard sometimes life can be hard but that what we have these metaphysical tools for like my protection sprays um my love oils my heal oils my money stuff everything you can get from a botanical or anything spiritual metaphysical it's meant to help you adjust to your reality and accept your reality more i pray for all of you that you be able to find peace on your journeys i love you all remember if you want to go deeper into a, a personal reading book a personal reading with me okay if you want to go deeper on your journey i love you all be blessed bye bye